Ramadan. He's trying to ask him a question. Hello? Yeah. So you gonna pack up your stuff too? Or what you gonna do? Cause I'm not packing it up for you, sir. You in there living rent free and you gonna have to pack up That's something. That's why he kicked you. He did kick me in the ear. <laughs> Why is she looking at me? What are you doing, lady? You know, we live, right? <laughs> oh, we back on it. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back out. Uh, thank you guys for giving us a little bit of your time. Sean yeah. Queen. What up, y'all? Ah, you said what up? Um, yeah, man. So, as you guys saw last week, we moving. Um, and so, people have been texting us. Where are y'all going? What are y'all doing? Why are y'all leaving? Why y'all choosing to leave at this point mm -hmm. with a baby on the way? Right. That's crazy in and of itself. Um, but all in all, y'all, we, we feel like the Lord has opened up a door for us yep. uh, where we're going. Uh, we'll tell y'all a little bit later where we're going exactly. Uh, but we feel like the Lord has opened up a door. Um, and man, one thing I've just learned over my time, and I'm really just learning to walk with the Lord and really hear his voice. It's like, yo, when he's opening up a door and when he's telling you it's time to move, right, you got to do it. Um, if you choose to ignore that and choose to try to stay just because it's comfortable, just because it's something that you know, then you're ultimately being disobedient to the Lord and that thing is going to fall apart eventually. Mm -hmm. And so, man, the door has opened up a door, pricked our heart and really have just shown us that, yo, it's time and an opportunity came about and we feel led to jump on it. Absolutely. Um, um, though we feel completely at peace about the move, we both have been at camp like. I was a camper mm -hmm. um, for you know at least eight summers, and then started working in '09. So, yeah, like 20 plus years, and James has been there since '09 as well. And so we have a lot of years under our belt. Sure. And so we have to say it's kind of bittersweet. Um, camp would always have our heart though. For sure. Um, that's where we met. Um, Definitely. That's where we were able to work alongside each other um, and grow in the area as well. So, um, yeah, we have a ton of memories there. And sure. I'm sure it won't be the last time, but yes, the Lord is moving us and we're still excited about that. For sure. Listen, you guys seen us pack up the bookshelf. The bookshelf, we did that. We grabbed some boxes, all that. Uh, but yo, we have a ton of stuff out at camp. Yes. And so, man, we rode to camp and get all our things out at camp. Yes. So, check that out. Hopefully, y'all enjoy it. The campground, Sean Quita. That's where it all started for me, people out here as a camper. Oh, how old were you? Ten. Ten? How long did you go here? You got K1? Yep. Eight summers. Uh huh. Ooh wee. I don't know if my keys still work. Hey, look Oh, yeah. Check your office. Diane did a good job. This is James's office. He still has a body armor drink over there. Some safety tickets. Who's the last person to get a safety ticket? Warmer left on since Friday, the front stove. Mm 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 mm. Rachel. Another one for Rachel. Woo! Proud of you, little bro. Do it big. Have an awesome summer. That was from here. Dear Sunshine. Bugs on the ground. Look on the light. Y'all see them? Always when you come back, full of bugs. Oh, 
Look at that. Work hard, play hard shirt. A cool shirt. Yeah. About these bugs. Another thing is Skittles. <laughs> you need Skittles, man. Not too bad. Outside of the books. They wrote you a whole book. <laughs> and they changed colors. Well, we're going to sit on the swing one more time. Oh, it's dirty. We got a towel in there somewhere. All right, get a towel. Sister Shana. It's crazy, Charles Michael. What's that? Yeah, you cleaning up here at camp. Yeah. To leave. It was good though. Definitely. I met you here. Oh, it's okay. Sugar wugger. Yeah. Some more stuff we could have done, but it's all good. That's true. I think we did well. That's how our kids come to the Lord here. True. A lot of kids came to the Lord here. Staff too. <laughs> Man, that's so true. A lot of tough conversations and moments, but it was good though. Okay. Kids across America. One more lookout. Let's see where the kids coming down to the pool during free time. Running. Running down this hill. Running down that hill. So excited to get in some water. Right. That water be dirty. Oh, that water be dirty. Watching them fall off the seesaw. Oh, ain't Trying to stand up on the seesaw. How about them hollering and screaming on pamper pole? Yeah. Trying to jump off that thing. And Council's supposed to be watching kids. They over there caked up mm. at the pool. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, 55, y'all. Come on. Oh, 55. Well. Hit this road, girl. Let's get it. I was about to cry. I don't know, right? Mm. Brought back so many memories. There's a lot of memories out there, man. If, if you haven't had the opportunity to get out to Kids Across America, you got to do it. You have to. Man, take a group of kids. If you are off during the summers, you got a week or two, please yeah. look into volunteering and working there. Um, the Lord is doing amazing things out there at Kids Across America. Definitely a spot that you want to be. If you love the Lord, love kids, and you want to see them grow. Absolutely. Now, a lot of y'all have been talking noise about me backing up the truck. Back. <laughs> Backing up the truck. Listen, that's a big truck. Now, let me tell you. All right, so we, we packed up the stuff out at camp. We got that together. And we jump over and I rented the truck. Well, James, that was a pretty big truck. Like, that was like a school bus. That was a truck truck. Well, listen, I mean, choose school bus, church bus. I do this. Y'all know what it is. Driving in church buses all day. That's how you got your license? You already know how it is. Shout out to Sirene Temple in Detroit. Y'all know <laughs> what it is. But uh, listen. So I'm, I'm, I'm in line, I, I get the uh, the bus from the people, I mean the truck, <laughs> I say the bus, I get the truck from the people, I walk outside and I see the truck, and I immediately go back inside and ask the lady, I said, listen, do you have something smaller? And she was like, no, this is all that I have. So y'all, take a look at this truck, and it, it, it got dicey for a minute, it got dicey for a minute, yeah. check it out, let's see what, what let me tell you what y'all think. <laughs> Right in there. Go see. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my 
word, that mailbox. Wait! Everybody take that mailbox out first. Be real. When I was backing up the truck, trying to get into the driveway, trying to get it lined, well not the driveway, trying to get it lined up to go, <laughs> chill out, chill out. <laughs> what did, did you really think I was gonna hit the mailbox? Oh, for sure. Yeah. It came close, it came close. I, Our neighbor, so our neighbor, everybody came outside and started watching. Like all of a sudden, what, what did everybody start doing? Nosy. Being nosy, out there. talking about they were doing yard work. Yeah, All of a sudden, exactly. everybody started doing yeah. yard work at the exact same yard. time. It was too funny. Uh, but major shout out to my guy Patrick mm -hmm. and our sis. Hello, Alicia. Yo, they they held it down. They helped us out a ton because listen, Sean was not on lifting duty. She was on delegate and being on her ball. I could have watched her being on the ball. This is this would look like. Jen was on that ball duty, like she stayed there, and Pat and Lalisha truly held it down to make it happen for us. We wouldn't, have, we wouldn't have moved out, nope. got things laid out without them. So shout out to the family there. Good luck. Um, so yeah, man, here's the rest of us just packing up things and getting things ready for the road. Yeah, man. We almost done. Big Pat. When they got it done without Big Pat, boy. I'm trying to tell y'all. What we need now? The grill? Yeah. We did. That that so truck it was out. Yeah, it was completely filled up. Yeah. And I, shout out to the big homie DeAndre. He DeAndre he came, came through. through Helped us out, helped us get Ace up here. And a motorcycle. And a motorcycle. Listen, that's not my. That's Sean's motorcycle. That's not mine. Got the motorcycle and the dog. Appreciate you, DeAndre, for helping us out for show for show. Yeah, man. Uh, to where we going? We didn't get all this stuff packed up. Out at camp. Yeah. Stuff packed up at the house. Whipped in the big wheel. Okay. Where we going? Well, we're still technically in Missouri. Still in Missouri, but we're no longer in Springfield. Nah. And it's not St. Louis. Nope. So I guess that leaves. I'm just saying, we out here with the Super Bowl champions and all that. Out here in Kansas we're City, KC Mo, we in the building, getting some barbecue. Yeah, we are. Yeah, so we out here in Kansas City, uh -huh. holding it down with the great ones. Oh. Pastor Marvin. And Miss Angie. Angie at the Hope Center. Uh, shout out to the Hope Center. We out here at the Hope Center. We so excited about Yay. that opportunity. On this road, let's make it happen. All right, we off and rolling. In the big wheel, boy. Headed out to KC. See y'all in about three, three and a half hours. Y'all know what it is. Let's get it. Halfway to KC and the check engine light that came on. Mine tripping, tripping. We're gonna figure this thing out though. We out here. Yep. 
back in this thing. I mean, we was on the road for a little while. Mm -hmm. Finally pulled up, right? Finally pulled up. Now listen, this is the main reason why I was trying to tell that lady we need a smaller truck. Yeah. If y'all see the street we on, it's small, small. And cars are generally parked on oh, both sides. Yeah. And so look. I don't know how you did it, babe. This is Wednesday. I tried to told you. I, I might as well get my CDL. Antoine, can oh. I can I get my CDLs now, bro? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let me. I'm just saying. So yeah. Okay. Yes, you made it happen, big up. It was tough. Check y'all. Look at this. It was tough, tough. so so excited here with such great leaders mm -hmm. uh, like the Daniels who a tremendous track record of developing great people and just really challenging people to be better so we're so excited about that opportunity Absolutely. to be groomed by individuals like that and to be prepared to grow into whatever the Lord has for us next Growth is difficult growth is painful yeah. but Man, our, our greatness is on the other side of that pain and the other side of that growth. So if we don't embrace the growth, we don't embrace that pain, then we won't truly be able to maximize all the potential that the Lord has given us. Uh, um, we're excited about the change that we've been given. Um, and we know that the Lord has gone before us in this journey ahead. Um, and whatever is to come, we'll take it one day at a time. One day at a time. So listen. Don't be afraid to switch things up. I mean, if the Lord has opened up an opportunity and this opportunity may be pulling you away from your comfort zone, pulling you away from your family, pulling you away from the things that you have grown used to, that may be exactly what the Lord is doing and needing for you to do. To grow. To grow, for mm -hmm. sure. And so don't be afraid to grow. Don't be afraid to change. Listen, my father always tells, says this, even dead things change. They decompose, they break down, they change. So if we as living individuals don't choose to change and don't embrace the change, we're worse than being dead. Even dead things change. So listen, you got to open up your mind and be willing to change when the opportunity comes about. I agree. Man, we appreciate y'all for joining us. Appreciate you guys for being part of the journey with us. Yes. I mean, if you like it, what you see and what should they be doing? You need to subscribe. Come on and subscribe. Follow us. Follow us. James and Sean on James Instagram. and Sean on the IG, on the gram. Mm -hmm. Man, like, comment, all that good stuff. Let people know. Um, and then if you have questions, man, please feel free to send them our way. We'll love to answer those for you. Yes. But in the meantime, I'm about to go get some barbecue. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, right? You want some? Uh, of course. About to make it happen. KC. KC mode. Man, I'm telling y'all, we got a lot of stuff coming for y'all. Yes. Stay it's tuned. Major plot twist coming up soon. Oh. Major. When I say major, major plot twist coming up soon. You don't want to miss it. Yeah, I'll take it easy. I'm struggling.